Meet Colin Morikawa, one of the PGA Tour's emerging new faces. Since turning professional after graduating from the University of California, the 22-year-old hasn't looked back. With a string of good performances under his belt, including a runner-up finish at the 3M Open, he's hit the ground running. It's crazy fun. It's everything I've ever dreamt of. It's, it's kind of something more, but to finally be here to finish my degree, come out here and, and finally play on the PGA Tour is really fun. Um, it's something that I've kind of always thought about. You know, you don't know how you're going to perform out here. It's a completely different stage. It's a, it's a new level of golf, but to finally be here is, is really something special. The former world amateur number one has found his feet quickly, but it's no great surprise. He's thinking big. To win a lot of majors, become the number one player in the world. And there's a lot of goals that I still have like that as a little kid. Um, but there's a lot of smaller goals that I got to step over and kind of complete those um, just to get to. So, you know, we have our short term goals, whether it be this week or, or a month from now, um, that I got to keep just keep reaching, you know, keep striving for. And then if I keep reaching those, you know, my game keeps getting better every single day. Um, it should be a lot of fun out here. I think short term, um, obviously, is to earn like a PGA Tour card for next year and lock that up. But I got to still hit the ball really well off the tee. You know, if you, if you find the fairways, for me, if I find fairways off the tee, it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, so whether it's just figuring stuff out with the driver, and then it comes down to putting. For me, it's it's always seeing seeing my shot. So it's going to be kind of fitting that into my picture. Despite making a seamless transition into the professional ranks, Colin still faces a steep learning curve. With a special temporary status for the 2019 season, he's aiming to make the most of his opportunity. Senior year helped me a lot. I kind of created this plan and routine for me to do out here, you know, whether it's stretching or, or working out or, or playing and practicing. Um, these can be long days, they can be grinding, and there's guys out there that love to be there from sunrise to sunset. You know, that's kind of not my thing. I want to do it really efficiently, kind of be out there for a short amount of time and then get out and, and relax. You know, for me, if I rest up and, and feel good about my body, um, we're going to be good for the week. Colin was beaten by fellow rookie Matthew Wolf in Minnesota, and along with 2018 US amateur champion Victor Hovland and former world number one amateur Justin Suh, golf's next generation is looking good. It's friendship. It's a lot of good friendship. It's, you know, I've known Matt and Justin for a really long time. Victor, I've gotten to know over the past handful of years but it's cool to see us kind of come out here you know and, and make a name for ourselves yeah Matt had a name for himself Victor won the am but you know for all of us I think we're building off each other and I think Matt and I playing well is just gonna help both of us it's gonna help Victor it's gonna help Justin and we're just gonna keep pushing ourselves because I think that's what kind of Jordan Spieth did with his class you know with Justin Thomas and all those guys they kind of push each other and that's what we did in college and I think that's what's gonna be great out here is that we're gonna be able to keep pushing ourselves and you know, Cameron Champ was a year older than us, but I know him really well. Sam Burns, Joaquin Neiman's really young. And there's just so many guys out here that we're all really good friends. And I know we're always going to be really good friends, but we're competitors and we're going to always just help each other out and, and kind of push us, ourselves to, to be the best. And after enjoying his first real taste of performing under the pressure of the PGA Tour spotlight at the 3M Open, Colin can't wait to get back in contention at future events. Yeah, there was a lot of attention. I think by the time I started the round, I was already outside. Uh, I was already behind the lead. So I knew it was going to take a really good round. Um, starting off, the round was a little shaky. I, I hit some bad drives, and that's going to happen. You know, But I knew I had a lot of good golf in me. I knew there was going to be a lot of good shots, a lot of birdie opportunities. So I, I just kind of, when I made the turn, I kind of put everything out there. You know, it was nothing to lose. I was playing with a great friend, Matt Wolf. And obviously, it was, it was great to see him get the win. Um, but yeah, that no, was really cool. And I think there's a lot of people following Wolf rather than me, and I kind of got the back end of that. But um, it, it's really cool to have spectators and little kids, especially out there, just watching golf, you know, enjoying it as much as, as hopefully Matt and I are, because we, we kind of looked at each other towards the end of the round and, and realized how special we were and how lucky we were to be in this position to kind of put ourselves there. And, and that's what I want to do. I want to put myself in that position as many times as I can and kind of, you know, take advantage of that.